Hi, good evening to all. Tell me one thing, how is this series going on? Do you feel changes in your coding skill? Do let me know in chats. I mark your present, I'm reading the names, mark your presents. I'll check the names who are present today. Do let me know. Am I audible or not? And where are the everybody? You know, I want to see the names today in the chat. The consistent people, the one day they will change a lot of things. Maybe their life. Very good evening, Prince. Do let me know. Am I completely audible and visual to all? Do let me know. Okay. Cool, yeah, cool. We'll begin with the question. We'll begin with the question and uh, everybody already knows that we are running with a series there will cover math, arrays, frequency counter, sliding window, two pointer, right, trees, graphs, a lot of things, the whole complete DSA, all the topics. So in that series, we have another question today, which is single number. It's an easy question, but it's still very important. As you can see on the thumbnail, this question already has been asked in multiple companies. You can see in the thumbnail, like it has been asked in the Facebook, in Pinterest, in, in many more companies. So now we'll search the question, single number. Trust me, maybe this question can sound you a little tough or easy, depending on the level you have understanding as of now. But after five minutes or 10 minutes, you'll be confident in this question. You'll be confident in this question. Okay. Cool, yeah, cool. Again, so now let's read the question. Single number, that's the problem statement. Single number, given a non empty array of integers nums, every element appears twice except for one, which means you have a nums array. Cool. Every number, whatever the value you will have in this array, appears twice, means they have two times occurrence. Okay, you must implement a solution with a linear runtime complexity and use only constant extra space because of this line only this question has been asked in multiple companies including top mnc including top mnc because of this line only that you must implement the solution with linear runtime complexity it means the complexity should be big of n and the space complex should be big of one you cannot have any other spaces so let's see the problem statement. The problem statement was like you have given an array and we need to figure out a single element, which single, you know, uh, single means those do not have pairs or repeated value. Okay. And the whole array, in the whole array, there is only one single element. There is only one single element. Cool. So let's see how we can solve this problem. I'll go to the slide. I'll show you how we can make the solution of it. I'll change the color. Color should be what? as usual okay now now the problem statement is that we have a num sorry cool there we have a lot of value let's say one comma one two okay again three comma two what our job is to do we have to find out we have to find out the unique element means all the elements in this in this you know in this nums has some repeated value except one for example this one has repeated two times this two has a repetition but this one does not have 
so if i ask you if i ask you that can we do one thing can we do one thing that we can count the frequency of all the elements i'll tell you on the frequency counter series at the upcoming series after a few days right and then we'll understand how we can calculate the frequency so can i count the frequency of each element and the element that have a frequency only one which means that has been occurred by one only so we can print that but the problem with that when you'll perform the frequency counter when you'll count the frequency of each element you need extra data structure extra data structure yes or no extra data structure so the problem with that is you cannot take this why because in the problem statement itself they have mentioned like you must take the big of one space complexity again can we have our two loops like i'm iterating from this what i'll do is that i'll take a bun element okay i'll take a habinas i'll take a bun element uh, again we had two we had three we had two so what i can do i can take this one element and i can check in the rest of the array if it is present i can skip this so let's say i was iterating this one element for the whole rest of the array so what i'm getting i'm getting one on the next step which means one is not possible again i can take this number right from this from you know means after cancelling these numbers i can take this number and i can check in the whole array again if i get this i cannot take this again i'll take this number and i'll check in the whole array if it's present or not if it's not then it's a unique but the problem with this you have to implement two loops right but anyhow the two loops will lead what we lead the big of n square but the problem is trend we need to solve in the linear time complexity in the linear time complexity which means you have to solve you have to solve in big of n so that is a scene that is a scene so how we can do this how we can do this i'll tell you all of you have learned one operator jor operator right which is this symbol so how this work is cancels all the repeated element repeated element so how this work you know that if we have let's say binary value 101 and again 101 and if i write here jor so you know what will be the operation you will see the similar similar will become zero and the different will become one opposite will become one so that's how jor works right so now one one becomes zero 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 becomes zero 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 becomes zero why because those both of them are same kind of element let's have we take the another element we have 100 and we have 101 now if i'll perform jor so what will happen these are different zero and one are different so we will have one here zero zero are same we will have zero one one are same we will have zero so for different one for different element you will have a you know you will have a jor operation but for the same kind of element those all the same kind of element will become zero automatically so what we can do what we can do can we apply jor operator on all the element of the array on the all element of the array so what will happen all the similar elements all the similar values will be cancelled out what we will have we will have one single value so that is a single element and this is the optimal solution which you need to write in any kind of computer programming any kind of interview okay yeah that is applicable one that is applicable one cool yaar actually abhinav i want to do but there is a audience which is only interested in english but when i'll see a lot of comment for english combination of hindi and english then i'll i can talk to management by showing the result because anyhow things come after having results so when i'll see a lot of comment for english maybe management can consider okay so now 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 i'll i'll take a, another example i'll take the another example so the another example is you understand both very nice but anyhow you know i will suggest also that if you come here you should also try to understand uh, english but i know anyway we feel you know very interactive very uh, you know very understandable in the hindi and english in the combination because that is a flow you feel a vibe that i believe but any of you are working in the corporate or you want the job in interview everywhere you have to explain in english you have to communicate in english that's why we are following a common practice cool here i guess so now now i'll take at this example i'll take this example i'll explain you how our jor operator can solve this problem okay i'll explain you so we had an 
we had an uh, input we had an input here again keep doing one thing here and now i see few people in the live every day you can also refer this series to your friend to your classmate that maybe this series can help them as well and also i will feel motivated like, like my work is being contributed for a lot of people right now cool so we have this array nums now 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 if i apply a jar operator how i can do this how i can do this so what i'll do if, if i assume that i have a result which is initially zero which is initially zero so what i'll do i'll take the element from this and i'll apply jar between result and that upcoming element and i'll store in the result so what i'm writing result jar the upcoming element let's say i'm taking element with the help of i okay so for the starting i'm assuming that i equals to zero so what i what will happen we will have zero colon two so you know how to convert a particular number so in coding which language is preferable to start with uh tejas actually in coding what i'll suggest previously people were starting from c then c plus plus now i will not suggest them why because these were the basic languages to understand something previously development was happening with them but all the books are very old all the curriculums of the universities are very old like it doesn't make sense what i will suggest no matter which language you start anyhow you have to learn the fundamentals but learn something which can help you in you know in build a career for example that can be a uh, python that can be javascript that can be java like if you're learning with java you can have a strong you know dsa problem solving skills you can have a back end development with spring boot using java right and also you can be a software engineer where you're working with the java right so you have a future options but anyhow with other languages this is hard so either you can prefer uh, python you can prefer java you can prefer javascript okay now now here let, let's see you know how we convert a particular number to binary so i want to make you understand that's why i'm telling you how to convert integer to binary so we have this two what i'll do you know if you want to convert any number to binary just divide it by two continuously so two one job one and again again what will happen tell me what the, the remainder will be the remainder will be zero here the remainder will be zero here. you go from the top to bottom so you will have one zero again if i want to let's say you know i want to check the binary of uh let's say 10 so what will be the binary of 10 binary of 10 so you'll divide by 2 you'll get the 5 is there any remainder no again we'll divide by 2 you'll get 2 to the uh, 4 so remainder is 1 and the here the remainder is so the here the remainder is 1 now you'll divide by 2 it, it, it divided by 1 you get the 1 here and again the remainder is 0 so what will be the binary to, uh, bottom to top so this is the binary will be 1 0 1 0 for the 10 so now the binary of 2 will be 2 will be what 0 again this is 1 0 so what will happen if you want to apply this operation let's say i'm assuming 0 0 to 0 0 because it will not impact if you write another 0 just you know at the left side of it and again i'm writing 0 here what will happen we have jar which means same type of value will be cancelled out and different type value will be remain same same type 0 0 which means 0 1 0 means 1 so now the result is what the result is 2 look at it. after this operation the result is what result is 2 result is 2 now now for the next value now for the next value now for the next value what will happen we have let's say i has been increased now we have we are here so previously result was zero now result is two so two jar two what will happen tell me the binary of two is one zero yes or no so what will happen one zero one zero you are applying jar same type of cancelled out same type of cancelled out so this becomes again zero what will happen then i will increase you will have one again so now result is equals to zero because the result is zero now the next value is one so what you will have you will have you will apply like zero and one and because these are the different kind of value you will have one here so now the unique value was what unique value was one so that's how you can solve this you're not taking even a single extra space you're not taking even a single extra space you're just doing in the linear time complexity and this is one of the best optimized solution and trust me this question already has been asked in a lot of companies because every question which i'm covering in this series is the question which repeatedly has been asked in the multiple companies and if you have understanding of these 150 questions trust me you will be able to crack even more than 90 percent of boarding interviews but anyhow you have to understand all of them very carefully very carefully okay cool here cool cool sir are there job opportunities in python because i have started python yet job opportunities are everywhere okay with python you can have opportunity in data science and data analytics but the number is really less but for the development 
it's a it's a really you know it's a very large number so minus tech like you know in the web development as of now it's a trend so anyway if you have any particular skill that can help you but anyhow you need dsa you need dsa for any kind of job okay and again once all of you are really talented i'm also available on the linkedin maybe i can help you in the referral and other things so but anyhow you keep posting the things on the linkedin you will connect with me as well you can search gaurav pandey mentor I'll, I'll be there in the linkedin you can ask the personal questions there as well okay now cool now cool what i'll do is that now i'll go to the our code and we'll write so what we have planned is that we will have a result first so i'm assuming this result to be zero at the first time again we will have a for loop because we want in linear time complexity we want to iterate this uh, array itself right so now i'm starting let's say int i is equals to zero i is less than nums dot length again i plus plus basic loop everybody knows yes or no okay you will search gaurav pandey tech mentor even on the google i you will get me there gaurav pandey tech mentor you will find me okay on the even linkedin or on the google itself okay now now here what are you planning if but do not leave the class as of now okay still be available in the class it's okay can you please try dry run and explain the logic after coding sir sure, i'll do this once again actually I forgot your name ex1vi it was sarthak or something okay sure sure yeah so now now what we are doing is that what we were doing that we will iterate we will iterate the whole array and again what we'll do we'll apply a jor operator with the result right with the result so now jor with the result so nums i nums i okay and now what will happen eventually my battery is low no tell me am i audible siddharth prince tell me am i audible to all just replace the mic do let me know please okay cool yaar cool it's you know upgraded some kind of technology you know okay asta is also yeah cool cool now now we know that this is the best possible solution why why because we are doing you know all the given constraints all the given constraints